We have a safety alert for you about a common infection in children, strep throat. If your child gets sick often with strep, they run the risk of developing a disease that's much more serious. And it turns out it's more common than doctors first thought. Tonight, one mother is fighting to help her son as the medical bills rack up. Whenever I'm like running, it's like just hard to focus on like where the ball's go going. Luca Giacco lost that focus nearly two years ago. All of a sudden, he started really having OCD extreme. He had facial tics and a, a shoulder. And as a mom, to watch your kid who is normal to just change overnight, it's hard. Change that came after repeated cases of a common illness. Luca got strep throat about 15 times in four years. And an original diagnosis of ADHD that Christy didn't trust. What made you say it was something else? I just knew that wasn't the right thing. Christy was right. Luca was diagnosed with pediatric autoimmune neuropsychiatric disorder associated to strep. It's known as PANS or PANDAS. It's an autoimmune autoinflammatory disorder in the brain. The telltale signs? sudden, strange behavior after several bouts of strep. He said, I don't know why I'm doing this. My brain is making me do this. I can't control it. To bring down the inflammation in Luca's brain, they traveled to Washington, D.C. for a two-day infusion called IVIG. While the treatment helped tremendously, it's been easier to control myself. There was still one problem. How much do you think you have spent on his treatment? You know, I would say it's easily twenty-five to 30000 The Giacos have been denied insurance coverage of the treatment twice, but a sentence in the second denial letter gave Christie an idea. It reads, quote, all decisions are made following applicable state and federal law. So the new plan? Change state law. What can lawmakers in Tennessee do to help get health care coverage for this disease? Hopefully we can get TenCare to cover it. The other thing is, is if we have a mandate bill for insurance to pay for this. Just this month, Representative Susan Lynn filed two new bills that would create a health care mandate for coverage of pandas and pans beginning in 2025. Only eight other states have laws like this, and if the bills pass, Tennessee would be the ninth. The Giacos will travel out of state for Luca's second infusion in a couple weeks. If insurance doesn't pay for it, I have no other choice, right? I don't, I would do anything I could to save my children. What's well, estimated as many as one in 200 kids are already facing pandas and pans, and it's commonly misdiagnosed as ADHD, which means kids are often put on antidepressants. Uh, we'll be following the progress on the two bills as they come up for the hearings in the House and Senate.